Michael, the local upstate Black Lives Matter uh, group here in the upstate held a press conference at 11 o'clock this morning here in City Hall in downtown Greenville. They wanted to, uh, like you said, dispel myths and talk about the disconnect between their group, the city, and other black activist groups like the NAACP. After protesting led to arrests in Greenville one month ago, Black Lives Matter says there needs to be more urgency and more unity. The point is to get the attention of city and county officials who have incessantly ignored our cries, our plea to be heard, our desire to be included. The group continues to call for body cams on all law enforcement officers and regulations on how they are used and are asking to be included in any citizens review boards to address any use of force by law enforcement. They also say the efforts of their movement continue to be diminished by established civil rights groups like the NAACP. We talk about being inclusive. Once you want to talk to us, reach out to us and please stop talking about us. You say that we don't know what we're doing, we're undisciplined, reach out to us. Paul Guy leads the group called Beyond Differences and is a former NAACP member. I tell Derek and Bruce, 100% of the time, I have no problem with them doing what they want to do. But you have to understand the issue beyond surface issues. You have to understand how complicated it is to engage in a civil protest without doing your homework, number one. Quarles and Wilson Black said Black Lives, Lives Matter will protest peacefully in Greenville in the future, but this time he wants NAACP members to march with them and hopes no one is arrested, but he said that is something they're prepared for. Now you heard from Paul Guy, a former member of the NAACP, and I asked him earlier today what the Black Lives Matter uh, movement in Greenville will look like one year from now. I'll tell you what he said coming up at 6. We're live in downtown Greenville. Patrick Hushin, WYFF News 4.